Very good evening, everyone. Shall we stand and sing our opening hymn, hymn number 418? the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. A very good evening, everyone. Good evening. Would you like to be seated for a moment? Thank you. Uh, this evening, we welcome those who also are watching online, um, are <coughs> sick, are housebound, and those from around the world. We ask the Lord to be with all of you. Uh, this evening, of course, we enter at our vigil, the second Sunday of Advent. And of course, we hear, even on the front of our bulletin today, it's got the picture of the Root of Jesse. We'll hear more about the Root of Jesse in today's sermon. Um, I'd like to invite uh, Eve and Elijah, no, Elijah, yeah, all right. Eve and Elijah, would you like to come forward? Thank you. Very holy names, Eve and Elijah. Okay. Would you like to come forward and face everyone just around here? Okay. So we're going to light this one, so you have to hold it together. Hold it together. Okay, you go a bit higher. <laughs> a bit higher. Go for it. Yeah, keep going. See what that does. Let's just hold on for a minute. It's thinking about it. Yes, it's going for it, isn't it? Thank you very much. Would you like to blow that to Elijah? Okay. So let's. Um, you want to put your hand out with me so we can bless this week's candle. Dear Lord, we ask you to be with us as we continue to prepare a way for the Lord. Let your ways be straight, just as John the Baptist in today's readings are guiding us. And may also the Lord guide Eve and Elijah in their lives towards Christmas. And may Almighty God bless in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
give Eve and Elijah a big round of applause. Thank you very much. <clears throat> to prepare ourselves, would you like to stand, sorry. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now listen to the word of God. <clears throat> A reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot springs from the stock of Jesse, a scion thrust from his roots. On him the spirit of the Lord rests, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is his breath. He does not judge by appearances. He, does not, he gives no verdict on hearsay but judges the wretched with integrity, and with equity gives a verdict for the poor of the land. His word is a rod that strikes the ruthless. His sentences bring death to the wicked. Integrity is the loincloth round his waist, faithfulness the belt about his hips. The wolf lives with the lamb. The panther lies down with the kid. Calf and lion cub feed together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear make friends. Their young lie down together. The lion eats straw like the ox. The infant plays over the cobra's hole. Into the viper's lair, the young child puts his hand. They do not hurt, no harm. On all my holy mountain, for the country is filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters swell the sea. That day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. It will be sought out by the nations, and its home will be glorious. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be <clears throat> to God. Responsorial Psalm. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. O oh God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days, justice shall flourish, <coughs> and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall, shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. In his days, justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. In his days <coughs> does justice shall flourish, and peace, peace till the moon fails. fails. May his name be blessed forever, and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him, all nations bless his name. In, in his, his days, days shall justice, justice shall, shall flourish, and, and peace till, till the moon, moon fails. fails.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Everything that was written long ago in the scriptures was meant to teach us something about hope from the examples scripture gives of how people who did not give up were helped by God. And may he who helps us when we refuse to give up help you all to be tolerant with each other, following the example of Christ Jesus, so that united in mind and voice, you may give glory to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It can only be to God's glory then for you to treat each other in the same friendly way as Christ treated you. The reason Christ became the servant of circumcised Jews was not only so that God could faithfully carry out the promises made to the patriarchs, it was also to get the pagans to give glory to God for his mercy. As scripture says in one place, for this I shall praise you among the pagans and sing your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight, and all mankind shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In due course, John the Baptist appeared. He preached in the wilderness of Judea, Judea, and this was his message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. This was the man the prophet Isaiah spoke of when he said, A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. This man, John, wore a garment made of camel hair with a leather belt round his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole of the Jordan district made their way to him. And as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. But when he saw a number of Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to fly from the retribution that is coming? But if you are repentant, produce the appropriate fruit, and do not presume to tell yourselves, We have Abraham for our father, because I tell you, God can raise children for Abraham from those stones. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees, so that any tree which fails to produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you in water for repentance. But the one who follows me is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. And the chaff he will burn in a fire that will never go out. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Would you grab your bulletin for me? Because I, uh, on the front of your bulletin uh, this evening is a picture. There is a picture of um, a, a, a root, uh, the root of Jesse, uh, with a a new growth coming from it. Sometimes that happens in the wild, in the wilderness, doesn't it? And so, of course, that is the root of Jesse. But it's a metaphor for, actually, the root of Jesse. Jesse was the father of King David. So it's showing the line of King David, 
has been cut, has been damaged in some way. And of course, that can be classed really from um, Judea and Israel being attacked from all sides. But also in the time of Jesus, there was, of course, Roman occupation too. So that line of uh, King David is struggling. It's got its roots there, but not really producing much fruit. This, of course, this band of vipers, as John the Baptist calls them, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they are in Jerusalem, they are rubbing shoulders, uh, making deals with the Romans to keep themselves in power. And of course, the Romans are playing ball because they want to keep the peace amongst the worshipping people. They worship their gods, but of course, the Jewish faithful, they need their taxes, they need them to not, of course, fight against them. So there's, there's lots of politics going on within Jerusalem. John the Baptist, however, he isn't interested in politics. He's interested in waiting for a Messiah. And that root of Jesse is, of course, a metaphor for a new line of David to come along, a Messiah like David from the root of Jesse, from the line of David, i.e. Joseph, from the line of David will come a new growth, a new Messiah. And that's what we're waiting for, John the Baptist says. So while the axe is laid at the root of Jesse and the line of David is struggling, don't worry, a new growth, a new Messiah will come. A new king will come from the line of David. But John is not a Sadducee. John is not a Pharisee. He's not even, there was another sect of people called the Sakari. The Sakari, Sakari means the people who wear a knife. And the Sakari were almost like terrorists in those days. So there was terrorists, there was political um, uh, people, and there was people working in the temple like the Pharisees. So it was, there was a place for everyone. But John the Baptist didn't want to know any of this. What he wanted was peace. And so he found that in the desert with a group of people called the Essenes. And the Essenes separated themselves from all of this, separated and went into the desert to prepare a way for the new Messiah that Isaiah wrote about. The new growth from the root of Jesse. That's where John the Baptist found himself, and that's where John the Baptist started to baptize people and say, repent. The new root, the new, the new uh, Messiah is coming. Repent quickly before you see him. Even I am not worthy to carry his sandals. Sandals are the lowest of the low, of dusty feet. But even that I'm not worthy of. So prepare yourself. So when he sees the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming, and the scribes coming along and wanting repentance, he's almost saying, are you panicking? Are you worried that if the Messiah comes, he will see that you're not doing your job properly? And he says, you can repent. That's one part of this journey. Repent and be baptized. But for you, you need to start producing fruit Rather than oppressing the people, rather than um, lording it over the people or creating all this power for yourselves and importance, seek repentance, get baptized, be washed clean, and also do some good works for a change. Be fruitful. This is the only way you're going to prepare for the journey ahead. So there's a lot going on in our readings today. <clears throat> I'm a great collector of icons, and in my chapel in the house, in the attic, I have a, a whole wall of icons. One of the icons is of um, the, uh, the nativity scene. And in the nativity scene, you've got the stable, or a cave in this case, and you've got the angels, and you've got the shepherds, and, and the three wise magi coming along in the distance. But outside of the, the stable or cave, you've got this little root with uh, um, a, an axe leaning against it. 
And this, of course, is a precursor or a clue to today's readings and meaning because, of course, that root is where Jesus is going to come from. It's showing Jesus is coming from the root of Jesse, the line of David. He is the Messiah. So that root and that axe is really saying, this baby's the Messiah. And as you go through in the icons of Jesus' life, his baptism in the Jordan, the root starts to grow like the front of your, ba- uh, front of your bulletin today. Something comes out of the root, and it's showing that the Messiah is growing in the world. He's starting to reveal himself. It reveals himself, of course, through um, the baptism. Also, another icon I have is the transfiguration. And he re- Jesus reveals his glory through um, the transfiguration. So that root, that metaphor for Messiah is where we're at today. John the Baptist says, repent, remember your baptism, not just those things, but be fruitful in your life, do works of charity, works of um, good works of charity and be kind to people. This is another way of preparing yourself to meet the Messiah. And of course, know that Life is not over, life is not ending, but by Jesus coming into the world, he will replace the darkness that you feel and the promise that Isaiah has written about in today's first reading. So maybe that might be a good idea to hold on to that bulletin uh, for the rest of the week and just meditate upon the front of your bulletin where it's got that psalm and it's got, if you think, what that, that, what that psalm is saying. That psalm is telling you what the quality of this Messiah will be. So have a read of it when you go home and study it carefully because you'll see I've highlighted on the psalm for you, on the front of your bulletin, all the qualities that Jesus will have that he will pass on to us in our lives. So the clues are there if we wish to see them. I sound like the presenter of Through the Keyhole, sorry. But the clues are there, but we have to see them to recognize who owns this house. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Shall we stand to profess our faith? Shall we say the Apostles' Creed this evening? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Sisters and brothers, the beautiful words of Isaiah prepared his people for the promised Messiah, and the powerful witness of John the Baptist prepared the people for the same one, Jesus, who would baptize them in the Holy Spirit and with fire. That the church will grow in holiness this Advent, preparing a way for the Lord who shows us how to treat each other in his friendly way. Lord, have mercy. mercy. That we may be filled with the spirit which is of God, the spirit of wisdom and insight, of counsel and knowledge, and of reverence for the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
that integrity may be granted to all world leaders who are in conflict, especially between Russia and Ukraine and the Israelis and Palestinians, so that true peace will prevail everywhere. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who have died and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That those who've died in war and violence, in the Indonesian earthquake and through the COVID pandemic, will enter the glorious heavenly home. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We ask Our Lady of Walsingham to intercede for us as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou, thou amongst women, women and, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God Pray, Pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and, and at the, the hour, hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. We also pray uh, for the town of Matlock uh, as it's hosted uh, the Victorian Market. And we pray for all of our, those who have visited our town today and area. And also those who have worked hard in the tents, kiosks and, and cooking food and so on. We ask the Lord to bring everybody safely home this evening. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, let your justice flourish in our time, your mercy sustain us in our weakness, and the fullness of your peace embrace all people. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, shall we be seated and uh, prepare our, our altar with hymn number 158? <coughs>
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our mass intention this evening is for ourselves and our families and our community, those watching online, our sick, our housebound, and those from around the world. Our special intention this evening, um, John um, would like to remember his parents this evening, John and Bridget McClarkey, and also Kathleen McClarkey. Um, so we pray for their, the repose of all of their souls this evening and all of our loved ones. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated or kneel. Eucharistic prayer three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Patrick our Bishop, the order of bishops, all clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. We pray for all Christians around the world, especially uh, in our local communities and denominations, and we ask the Lord to walk with us during Advent. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Shall we place our hands together and gently bow to each other the sign of peace? Peace be with you. Peace with you. Peace with you, ladies. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
a new Messiah will come, sprung from the root of Jesse. He will be a new David, a new king, a new Messiah, and we await his coming. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Before I cleanse my hands and distribute Holy Communion, let us um, send a spiritual blessing of communion to those who are watching online. Dear Lord, as Isaiah prophesied that you will be coming into the world, may we make the road straight, may we give spiritually, seek forgiveness, remember our baptism, and to welcome you in our lives once more. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you're a visitor to our church this evening, you're very welcome. As we have no side, side aisle, we come in a certain order. So if you just want to wait in your pew, and you'll be guided um, by our welcomers uh, forward. So just stay where you are for now. Thank you.
just uh, one or two notices this evening, as always. Um, on the way out today, if you weren't accosted on the way in, um, our two welcomers or those who will help them as well, there's, uh, two book, there's two books of raffle tickets. So if you want to go to one of our welcomers on the way out, if you've not bought any raffle tickets, um, you can see on the table at the back there is uh, um, a hamper to win, a bottle of whiskey, um, uh, a weekend in Paris with Father Robbie, um, all sorts of different things to win. Um, so please, uh, it's one pound a ticket or five pounds a strip. If you haven't got your money this week, then of course please uh, buy them next week. But there's 12 prizes in the end to, to win, so um, the chances of winning something are quite large. So, uh, um, so um, yes, we, we'll, uh, we'll ask you to uh, try and raise uh, money uh, to help the maintenance of the parish, so that, that will be great. Also, this coming Monday, a big uh, thank you to uh, a, a large team of people, a large team of parishioners who have come together, uh, still need your help, of course, but we're going to be launching with sponsorship from uh, St. Vincent de Paul and also uh, our, our count, local councillors, the um, warm space in each of our um, churches around um, Matlock and Darley Dale, and so, of course, we're going to be having warm space Mondays, and uh, as you can see, the signage on the on the hall. Also, there is going to be a food bank in there. We've got a little bit of food, but um, like you had your leaflet last week, um, we need you to start bringing food in when you're passing um, or when you come to church. You can leave it in the porch, and it'll be sorted for you. Um, but that will help people who come on Mondays who are struggling as well. I know we're all struggling, but if you can, if you can um, um, afford a tin of, tin of something, that will be great. Um, so that, remember that you've got a list for that. But also, um, you'll see in the bulletin that there's email, email addresses for people who you can contact if you want to volunteer. Um, of course, volunteering is not every Monday. They're going to have a rotor system. They have organised a rotor system. So if you volunteer, it won't be every week because we're hoping to run the uh, warm space Mondays until March. And so, of course, we don't want to put on anybody, so we want to share the load. So if you want to volunteer, don't worry that you're going to be put on, but know that you just have to take a turn every so often um, and do some help in that way as well. So please, uh, also if you've got any jigsaws, if you've got any games, uh, my responsibility, my, my uh, job is to get up on a Monday morning and get newspapers for, these, for, for, for people who come for cups of tea and so on. Um, but if you want to bake, if you want to donate food, if you want to volunteer, then it's all available um, so even if you want to find out more information, when you're passing on a Monday, please pop in and um, see how, how the land lies and, and come and get some more information that way too. Also, of course, is the, the warm Mondays is not just for other people coming in that we're supporting. The hall is open for all of us. So if you are struggling to pay your bills, if you're struggling to eat or afford things privately, then please come in. Mondays are there for everybody in Matlock, including our own community. Don't think it bars us. I'll be coming in for a cup of tea and a sandwich and turning my heating off a little bit maybe in the house um, so that because people want not only food and drink, but we also need company in these days. So if you want a little bit of company, or to read a newspaper, or to have a cup of coffee that's cheaper than, than Costa Coffee, then we're, we're, we're here for you. Okay. So everything else, and thank you for those who've already given to the Baby Basics in the Lady Chapel. That's available to you too. And also my message of, um, private message of help on the back of your bulletin. If you're struggling, please come and see me. Um, I'm very happy to support you. So let's stand and pray. We thank our altar servers and we thank Chris on our organ. And also uh, we, have, um, we have Simply Supper this evening. 
uh, tea, soup, cake, um, rolls and so on. If you'd like to come into the hall afterwards, there's also a, a fair trade stall available this evening. <coughs> Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking of this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. So let's sing our closing hymn, hymn number 201. Okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs>